Hello everybody, today is January 20th, 2024 and I'm bringing you to Magic Kingdom because there are some pretty new things going on. I also got a lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which I haven't ridden for quite a while. And we'll see what else we can do. It's pretty crowded and it's pretty cold, I would say. So let's go enjoy this beautiful day. The eternal question, ferry boat or monorail? Uh, probably more than half the time I'll be choosing monorail. Something's going on, they're like opening and closing the doors. I don't know, we'll see. Hello, Magic Kingdom. I love when I walk in and they're playing When You Wish Upon a Star. Pure Disney magic. Just this past week, there was a pretty big entertainment change. They used to do the Festival of Fantasy Parade at noon and at 3 p.m. And for the foreseeable future, they are only doing it at 3 p.m. So if you want to see that, make sure you make note. Let's go. Oh my gosh, the Omnibus to Cinderella Castle is running. Let's hop on. I haven't ridden this for a little bit. I've never ridden this here. <laughs> Fun. We're going up to the second floor. This is so fun. Make sure we keep our hands on legs and feet inside the vehicle at all times. The green and white on. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the Dapper Dans are singing. <laughs> I love the horn. How are we going to get through these people? <laughs> <laughs> How is this gonna happen? You have to be drunk. Around like eight, nine o'clock. It's cool to get a look at all of these from up here, these windows. Ron and Diane Miller. Wow, this would be cool when the pumpkins are out during Halloween, you know? Alright. Woohoo! Oh, we're just getting dropped off at our at our chateau. We get dropped off right here. Okay. From Town Square to Center Street. Emporium, an entire block of the finest merchandise. I just love it. Riding in it was so fun. If you get a chance to ride in any of the Main Street vehicles, definitely do it. Even if you want to go back to Main Street USA, which is what I'm going to do right now. Uh, it's still worth the ride. It's just so fun, the old-fashioned the horn is like is like a wooga. Can't even do it, but it's very cute. All right, I took a little stroll right down the center of Main Street USA because one of the things that drew me here today was over here at the confectionery. The Main Street confectionery. It's a cornerstone of Main Street USA. It's literally on the corner, and the windows up top they say. If we can dream it, we can do it. The middle window says Roy O. Disney Chairman, and the right window said Dreamers and Doers Development Co. In fact, the windows on Main Street USA, if you look on the upper level, like some that we just saw, riding the Omnibus are filled with legendary names in Disney history. Now, let's head into the Main Street Confectionery because one of the things that called me here today is something new right here. In the back of the confectionery is this section called Candied Popcorn. Now Disney has worked with this company called Popcorn Junkie the past few years and they make specialty flavors. And I think this is it, the brand new flavor, Strawberry Popcorn. I wanna try it. There's also a limited time offering this Sweetheart Popcorn featuring the strawberry flavored candy popcorn with M&Ms and crushed chocolate cookies and marshmallows and dark chocolate and it looks so cute. I'm very cute for Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna try the strawberry popcorn. I asked for the smallest bag they have, and this was it. Here's a framed newspaper article made to look like a turn of the century newspaper article about the changes here at the confectionery when it was sponsored by Mars. There are also some beautiful Valentine's treats in here, some candy apples and different things, and I'm sure they'll keep adding more as it gets closer to Valentine's Day so that you can celebrate with some delicious sweets and treats. Look how cute. I love a Rice Krispie treat, right? And there it goes again. Enjoy your ride, everyone. <laughs> All right, I'm taking my strawberry popcorn. 
on a walk down Main Street USA to find a place to sit and eat it. I feel like this would go really well with a coffee, so we're gonna pop it in Main Street Bakery. It looks like Valentine's Day stuff is all over the resort because Starbucks has their Valentine's Day cups out with the little hearts on them too. And they've got this new Discover series. Magic Kingdom, they've got it here. These went on sale and sold out like immediately, but it looks like they've restocked, so there you go. Okay, that was a crazy long line, but I got my coffee. And the line goes all the way out. Uh, I looked at the wait times and they are long, but my lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is in just a little bit, but we have just enough time to sit in the hubgrass and enjoy our breakfast of champions. There's nothing like a hubgrass picnic. I think the last time I had a hubgrass picnic, I had coffee and a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. Remember that? They do sell those at Starbucks. But this time I have strawberry popcorn and coffee. Time to try the strawberry popcorn. First bite. I've been waiting and waiting. All that time I was in line waiting for coffee. It smells good. It smells buttery and a little bit strawberry. Let me show you what it looks like. Very, very pink and very fun for Valentine's Day. I like that. Normally I try to sit in the shade in the hubgrass, but it's chilly, so I'm trying to sit in the sun. All right, here we go. All right, I got a lighter pink piece. It's really good. It is really delicious. At first, the strawberry didn't come through that strong. It just tasted like really good, buttery, like big, nice pieces of popcorn with a little bit of sweetness. But now, yeah, I taste the strawberry. It's delicious. And the flavor is kind of subtle, but really nice, and it builds up as you eat more of it. Mm. Yeah, it's real good. Now this bag, this is the smallest bag. I asked, like, what's the smallest amount I can get? And it was this, it's $8. This is very expensive popcorn, so I'm gonna like keep it and, and take it home. I'm gonna carry it around all day. I don't have a popcorn bucket, but a bag. I do recommend. It's pink, it's pretty, and it is tasty. Perfect hubgrass picnic food. I love a hubgrass picnic. It's just there's something about it that feels like just old school Disney, carefree, fun. I don't know, lovely. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, enjoy a bit of my popcorn, and then um, it's time to head over to Mine Train. Mm -mm. All right, that's a lot. It was really, really tasty. I'm gonna wrap the rest up and take it around with me for the day. Hopefully it makes it home. Okay, that was lovely. Now let's go ride. My gosh, the castle is so beautiful shining in the sun with the blue, blue sky. Oh, hello, Bubbles. Just glorious. We're heading into Fantasyland. I love when the moon is out on a bright, sunny afternoon. All right, let's make our way to the Lightning Lane line. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Standby wait time of 120 minutes. Wow. I'm trying to get to the Lightning Lane line, and even that, there's like tape on the floor to get in this line. It's absolutely nuts. Okay, I guess I'm in. <laughs> wow. You know it's crowded when there's even a Lightning Lane line. <laughs> okay, scanned in, and yeah, there's a bit of a little wait here, but at least it's not two hours. And here we have the Seven Dwarfs Cottage, and from the other side, at the end of the ride, you can see them inside dancing, Snow White dancing with the Seven Dwarfs, and it's really cute. And then we go into the mine, into the Seven Dwarfs Mine. And if you're in the standby line, you can see the jewels and there's all sorts of neat little interactive things. Okay, we're in. We're in the mines. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Once you're in, in the lightning lane line, it moves really fast. All right, in row 10, the back row. Ooh, wild. It's almost time. It's almost time. I'm sitting all the way in the back. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Woo! That was fast. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Woo!
fun. Whoa! <laughs> this what this looks like, just for your info. How was it? This one will get a view of the back of the cottage. <laughs> that you want to experience. Uh, Lightning Lane, I think, is the way to go. But this line is so long for a ride that is just so short. And it's a very cute, fun experience. So it's something you should, you should definitely do. And it's been a while. Here they come. Whee! I mean, you can just hear the fun, you know? I love that laugh. I love that. Let's head into Tomorrowland. Because tomorrow is today. Because I am making this video for what is today for me, but it's coming out tomorrow, which is today for you. Tomorrow is just a dream away. You know, all the things. I love a good balloon. Watching them blow around in the wind and shine in the sun. Why do I love this? I don't know. I can't be the only one. It's just pretty. It's ethereal. Well, let's take a quick look in Star Traders. They always have new stuff in here. Check this out. This is brand new Lunar New Year. Very pretty. We know that 2024 is the year of the dragon. So they have these beautiful red shiny ears with dragons in gold. Beautiful embroidered with sequins, a new spirit jersey with Disney characters in gold. And this side says Year of the Dragon, Happy New Year. That's gorgeous. The Lunar New Year Mickey is wearing a dragon head, hat, cap, ears thing. It's got a beautiful outfit, it feels like silk. That is lovely. They have a kid size spirit jersey too. And it's just all really beautiful. There's a whole Nightmare Before Christmas section and another bit of Valentine's Day merchandise. This is Jack and Sally, simply meant to be the classic lines from their song. As anyone can see. Very pretty. And they have little plushies of Jack as Sandy Claus. These are those new Uomos. You know, new Uomos. Oh my gosh, lots of new ears with great power. Does it say on the other side comes great responsibility or is it just like, no. It goes without saying. But look at how this is like knit out of yarn. That is very pretty. How cute is this? Frog's breath. And it's little gummy frogs. And whenever you're in the shop, say hi to the people on the People Mover. Hi, people on the People Mover. Oh, wow, they've got the mother load of Valentine's stuff behind the counter here. The whole mother load. Wow. Look at all of this adorable stuff. Yes. Oh, that is so beautiful. And that is. Right uh, $199.99, so it's $200, yep. and it's a limited edition set of Mickey and Minnie in these beautiful outfits. Correct. Those are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay, thank you so much. We've got that adorable shirt that says Be Mine with Mickey on it, and all sorts of adorable things. On hot days, this has steam coming out of it to cool people off. 
it is not on today. Oh my gosh. Look at the people mover line. The sea of strollers. It's so deep that they, there's like a little bit of a bottleneck here getting through. The line for Buzz Lightyear is, for lack of a better term, out of this world. Pirates has been down all day and also Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is undergoing a very short planned maintenance. And it should be reopening I think tomorrow or the next day. So it's just a couple days every year that they take it down to do that planned maintenance. And that's what keeps it running so smoothly. So I'm glad they do that. I'm glad it's just a couple days. We're gonna head up around the side of the castle here. There's a photo pass photographer here doing a 360 photo, so I just got in line for it. And we'll take it and I'll show you how it comes out. If you have photo pass, whether you purchase the annual one like I have or you have it for your trip and you see special things like that, you might as well do them because it's usually something cool and unique. And even if it's weird, which sometimes it is, it's something special for your trip. So, I'm gonna I always love this here at Sir Mickey's, the Jack and the Beanstalk theming. So if you look, you've got the Beanstalk around here. You've got a Mickey into the sign. And if you look, the Beanstalk is broken through the window. You see the glass is broken right there. And then you go around the side and the Beanstalk is growing out of the ground. It goes all the way up and wraps around and you can see it breaking through another window here and you know that it goes through the inside and breaks through that window and it's, it's okay. cool. Now everybody knows you can get some amazing views from in front of the castle, but behind the castle is a treasure trove. It is stunning, stunningly beautiful, with some gorgeous architectural details, and it's less pink than the front, which I like too. Beautiful. Have you ever had a hankering for a Caesar salad? Like that specific taste of a Caesar salad and Caesar salad dressing and nothing else will do? Well, if you're at Magic Kingdom, I'll show you where you can get one because I have a hankering today. Pinocchio Village House. How wow wow. Get a little Caesar salad. I told you recently about how Pinocchio is just one of my favorite Disney animated films from childhood and from always. So I do love coming in here for the theming alone, and the fact that you can see Small World. Romboli presents Pinocchio, the stringless puppet. I got no strings to hold me down. <laughs> now in there is the main seating where you can see it's a Small World, but I found a seat outside-ish of that area where I can still see it. Sure, there's some glare, but still a great spot to sit and watch people riding It's a Small World. The happiest that ever sailed. I don't know, I feel like Disney Cruise Line could maybe have the, you know, uh, claim on that, but still, very cute, very fun to watch them and to watch them see the people on the window, seeing them and, and seeing each other, and you know, if they see me, I give them a good wave. And it's a nice place to enjoy my Caesar salad with chicken and a hot tea that I ordered. The kids in there have these signs that say Donald Duck, touch your nose, say Minnie Mouse. And people are looking at them and waving. That's really cute. They were waving, they were really waving. These kids in there are having a ball. I love every detail in here. It's so pretty. When you order a hot tea here, they just give you a tea bag and a cup of hot water and you can, you know, there's milk and cream and stuff you can add to it to taste. I do feel like this used to come in a different container, but that's okay. It comes in this cardboard thing. It's pretty big, it's a lot. It comes with shredded up chicken, croutons, Caesar salad, and let's give it a taste. Let's get a bit of chicken, a crouton, and a bit of salad in the bite. Well, that's not gonna work, but let's try it. I really like it. Their Caesar dressing is really nice. It's garlicky. It's got just the right like mix of those delicious tangy flavors that Caesar salad should have. It's so yummy. And I'm sure you can ask them to not put the dressing on for you if you want, but they mix it so perfectly. Every piece is covered, but it's not drenched. 
It's just right, it hits the spot for a Caesar salad. Also, for all of us to remember in the future, when you're riding It's a Small World, at this very first part before you go through that tunnel, you are being watched. Just know, whatever you're doing, you are being watched by all these people in the window. So just smile and wave, smile and wave. Okay, I let that steep for a bit, now I'll take the bag out because I know my British friends will be horrified about leaving that in. I learned that. <laughs> you know, Caesar salad is such a specific taste and when you have a hankering for it, nothing else will do. It's not like ranch. It's like zesty and earthy. It's creamy like ranch but it's got a much more zesty bold tangy type of flavor it's just really its own thing and there's nothing like it and this hits the spot it's also like cheesy because the parmesan cheese on it it's so good and if you wanted a smaller portion you could get the kids caesar salad you could get it with or without the chicken it's so pretty filled with murals and carvings and theming and this one's my favorite one the blue fairy when you wish upon a star all your dreams come true. And now I've got my tea, and we can walk around a bit. Pretty. I've got another one of these signs here. Peter Pan's out meeting, wow. Bye, Peter. Okay, I'll look for him. Bye. <laughs> They're continuing construction here on Columbia Harbor House and it goes over into this bridge leading to Memento Mori. And the sign's covered from here. Let's just walk through it because I love it. Even if the line for Haunted Mansion is a bit long today, it's fun to come in here and look at how they've themed it up. It looks so good. We can put some more writing. <laughs> oh, oh. Leota, she's doing the thing, she's doing the thing. She's materializing for us. And there, it goes back to normal. Wallpaper pattern disappears. I love that. <laughs> that was cool. Well, okay, I had to, I had to <laughs> try to do the boat horn. But anyway, I was gonna actually get in line. It's like an hour, it was, but it is down, Haunted Mansion is down. Look how empty the line is, it looks cool. Now way over yonder, they're still building Tiano's Bayou Adventure. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has been closed since January 16th through the 20th, so it should be reopened on the 21st. And if you've been keeping up with the videos, you'll know that Country Bear Jamboree is closing. January 26th is the last day on the calendar that there are hours, nothing on January 27th, but that it will reopen. It's scheduled to reopen this year as the Country Bear Musical Jamboree. And I shared all the details and info about that. in a very recent video if you want to check it out i'll go ahead and link the video where i came out to see it for the last time i may come out and see it one more time before it closes forever in its current form but i gave you all the details about what it's going to be what it's turning into we don't have the exact reopening date for the country bear musical jamboree but we have the info and i also talked about it in this week's episode of expedition enthused a theme park podcast if you're not following that yet check it out it's me and sam talking theme park news and updates of travel and behind the scenes and all sorts of stuff and we just did episode 14 and you can find that wherever podcasts are like apple Podcasts, spotify it's not a youtube thing it is a pure podcast so if you want like to listen to it while you're driving or working out or whatever there you go let's take a quick look in the prairie outpost and supply i wonder if they have any country bear stuff how do i get in is it closed oh they're closed never mind they're closed I always come out and take a look at whatever's going on at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And I will continue to do so as they add more and more. I think I see people getting in line for Big Thunder Mountain. Have they reopened it early? 
Let's find out. It looks like they just reopened and they reopened early. They said it was Disney magic. How fun is that? I saw people walking up there and I was like, wait a minute. So I had to come check it out. And I don't think a lot of people know it's reopened. There's like no one in line and there's no fast pass because it wasn't scheduled to be open. Or lightning lane, sorry. <laughs> but I love that. <sighs> just goes to show. If they didn't have lightning lane, the lines wouldn't be as long. <laughs> just going nonstop. Yeah, I don't see this every day. This is amazing. Look, only one side's open. You don't see that every day either. So I guess only one side's open right now. Very cool, very fun. All right, I'm going to the back row. That just seems to be my row. And I'm good with it. 15, baby. <laughs> Everyone's very happy that it opened early, reopened early. So yeah, this wasn't supposed to reopen till tomorrow. Now the line's starting to build up that people are noticing. there's a hidden Tinkerbell in this rock formation. I have shown it before in past videos, but I still am not 100% sure I see it. So let me know if you see it. Let's take a mosey on old Nugget Way and have a look around. Nice. This is always like my little peaceful secret area. You can get views of Haunted Mansion and Tom Sawyer Island. And the rivers of America. Hi Disney Duck. Oh my goodness. I can hear their little feet pitter pattering. Well that was a fun surprise. Just have a little look over here of Tiana's being built. Looks like they're gonna reutilize or you know keep using a lot of the theming that was here unless they just haven't gotten to this yet, I'm not sure. But up there they've made it a beautiful mossy mountain. The train entrance is temporarily moved just a little bit. And back here, let's see what's going on back here. It looks like, here's the Frontierland train station. It looks like this walkway is still open. And they have the Tiana's Foods of Play Owned coming soon. And the Family Recipes, quality ingredients, a dash of magic that turns neighbors into fine friends coming soon. And they've closed this off. This was the play, play area. It was like a little mini playground. So don't know what they're doing back there. Oh wow, look at this. Looks like the restrooms back here are still open maybe. But all back there, that was the queue. <gasps> Look at this mural! Oh my gosh. So I haven't really gotten to look back here and you can already see this beautiful mural they're painting. Wow, cool! And let's see, yeah, it looks like you can still get back here to go to the restrooms. So this is all still here, but this is all closed off. Well, it's cool that these restrooms are still open and they're really quiet too. So if you're looking for a quieter bathroom to use at Magic Kingdom, right now at least, while the construction's going on, these are open. They might not be as quiet like right when they let people off the train, but if you wait in between, 
It was quiet and nice. I'll look ahead to myself. They've still got the Frontier stage lines, train station theming going on here with all the bags, which is really cool. There's the train. Hi, train people. But look at how good this looks with the mural, with all the music. Oh, Lewis, give anything to be up there jamming with the big boys. And now he is, Lewis, jamming with the big boys. That looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited for this to open. Oh, look back there. I didn't even see that side of the mural. <gasps> it looks like you can get an even better view of them from the train station, so I'm just gonna go up there. Oh, <gasps> you can. Well, you can see all the construction going on down there. They're retheming the queue and all that. I think it's gonna look amazing. Medley, medley, yeah, amazing. Grace and the piano player, literally the best. Every time I come out, he's playing new songs, he's playing deep cuts, Disney hits, and just now he did an Epcot medley of like old school attraction songs and park music, and I was trying not to cry the whole time. I think I recorded like four minutes of it, obviously. I can't stick it all in here, but I wish that I could because he's amazing. You can tell the man has a true love of Disney music, and I just like love him. Everyone loves him. He is the best, Disney. Give him a, a pile of gold, please. He deserves it. Well, since we took the monorail here, let's take the ferry boat back. Also, the monorail line looks really, really long. And looks like the ferry boat just left, so might be a little bit of a wait, but so be it. At least I have my strawberry popcorn to keep me company. Here, have some. Whew, that took forever. They're only running, running one ferry boat right now. Normally they run two, but we're on. That is an incredible sunset. Wow, the rays coming up, that is magical. Whew. Made it back to the Ticket and Transportation Center. That took a long time. It took a long time to get from here into the park earlier today, and it took a long time to get from the park back here. 
tonight. It looked like they were only running one ferry and it just took long. There's lines, lots of people. It just is what it is on a crowded day like today. Add a little extra time from when you park to when you get into Magic Kingdom. And Magic Kingdom is the one that takes the longest to get into, so definitely add it. So we're going to Scar, where is it? Uh, Scar, that's where I parked in Villains, so I'm gonna catch the Villains tram, catch my way out of here. It was so fun today, it feels so good in the like 50s here, in the low 50s in Florida. Feels really refreshing and crisp and nice. Feels lovely on rides. We definitely lucked out with Big Thunder Mountain Railroad opening early, that was really fun, and we caught it like just as they reopened it. I heard the cast members talking about it, and they were like, yeah, they had just reopened it. People were like, ooh, 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 just like me. Like I saw people walking and I was like, I'm getting on. And it was really fun just hanging out, seeing all the new things. Valentine's Day, they are gearing up. Lunar New Year, all these beautiful things happening at this time of the year. From when I got on the ferry to when I got off the ferry, it turned nighttime. And it is crazy that it's not even 7 p.m. yet. And it looks pitch black nighttime. Like, look at this. It's nighttime. Let me know what your favorite part of the day was. And thanks for hanging out. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused.